Hi class! Welcome back to our channel. For this video, I will show you how to find the mean for group data. Okay, so ang formula na gagamitin natin dito is yung x bar equals the summation of f times x sub m all over n. Where x bar is the mean. Okay? Yung f natin is the frequency ng ating class interval. Then, yung ating x sub m, that is our class mark. Then, yung n is the total frequency. Okay, so let's have example number 1. Calculate the mean score of 40 students given in the table below. So, ang first step natin dito guys, uh, para makuha yung mean score ng ating uh, given data is Kunin muna natin yung class mark ng ating uh, frequency distribution. Okay? So, para makuha yung class mark is kukunin nyo guys yung average ng lower class interval and upper class interval. Okay? So, dito we have 98 and 100. So, para makuha yung average ng ating uh, class interval, ipagpa-plus natin yan. 98 plus 100, that is 198. Then, divided by 2, so that is 99. Nakuha? So, again, para makuha yung ating class mark is kukunin nyo lang yung average ng ating class interval. So, uulitin nyo lang yung procedure, guys. Dun sa pangalawa, we have 95 plus 97. Then, divided by 2. So, ang ating average is 96. Okay? By the way, yung class mark is also called midpoint. Okay? So, ang other way para makuha yung ating class mark or yung ating midpoint is kukunin nyo guys yung gitna ng lower and upper class interval. So, example, we have 92 and 94. So, ano yung uh, midpoint nila? Or yung gitna nila. So, that is 93. Nakuha? So, next, we have 89 and 91. So, ang midpoint nila is 90. Nakuha, guys? Then, kung mapansin nyo, meron tayong pattern. Kung parin natin nakukuha yung ating uh, midpoint or yung ating class mark. Kung mapansin nyo, habang bumababa tayo dun sa pinaka-lowest uh, class interval natin, Nagma-minus lang tayo ng 3. Tama? So, using the pattern, so, makukuha natin ngayon yung midpoint ng next class interval natin by subtracting 3 dun sa ating 90. So, 90 minus 3, we have 87. Minus 3, that is 84. Minus 3, we have 81. Okay? Then, minus 3, that is 78. Then, 75. Then last, we have 72. Nakuha guys. Compare natin nakuha yung ating class mark. Next is yung ating uh, product ng frequency and ng ating class mark. Okay, so imumultiply natin ngayon yung mga numbers dito sa ating second column doon sa ating third column para makuha yung ating F times X sub M. O yung ating frequency times class mark. Okay, so, imumultiply natin si 2 doon sa 99. So, that is 198. Okay? Then, 1 times 96, we have 96. 1 times 93, that is 93. Then, 6 times 90, that is 540. Then, 6 times 87, we have 522. 5 times 84, that is 420. 9 times 81, we have 729. Then, 2 times 78, that is 156. Then, 3 times 75, we have 225. Okay? Then, 5 times 72, that is 360. Nakuha guys, kung paano natin uh, sinolve yung ating frequency times class mark. 
So, after nyan guys, pwede na natin ngayon gamitin yung ating formula to find the value ng ating mean. So, that is, uh, mean is equals to the summation of f times x sub m all over n. Okay? So, to get the summation ng ating um, f times x sub m, kukunin natin ngayon yung total ng ating last column. Ito. Okay? So, i-add natin lahat yan, guys. So, that is 198 plus 96 plus 93 plus 540 plus 522 plus 420 plus 729 plus 156 plus 225 plus 360 ang total natin is 3,339 Okay? So ngayon, pwede nyo nang i-substitute yan doon sa ating numerator So, we have 3,339 divided by N. So, ang N natin is yung total ng ating frequency which is 40. So, pag dinivide natin yan guys, 3,339 divided by 40, that is 83.48. Nakuha? So, ito na ngayon yung ating mean. So, pag in-interpret natin yan, guys, um, the mean score of 40 students, okay, so ito yung ating given, di ba, yung 40 students, in their math quiz is 83.48. Nakuha, guys? So, this is the end of our video. I hope naintindihan nyo guys kung paano ba natin sinolve yung ating uh, mean for group data. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!